Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Board Edit with uh, Circular 30. Today we shall be going over ambiguous generation. As you can see here, I have two idiots with me. Over here we have Blake Boy, and over here we have Sean. These are our both players uh, on, the, uh, on the server. Blake Boy might actually know what, what, what he's doing, and Sean is just here for Ted Lols. Anyways, what do I mean when I say ambiguous generation? What I mean is making is being able to just make spheres poof out of no, out of uh, nowhere. Speaking of making spheres poof out of nowhere, how about I put a solid sphere right below me? Boom! Instant sphere floating in the air with the center under my feet. So, as you could uh, could, uh, could see there, the uh, command for generating a sphere is slash slash sphere, the material, in this case stone, and then the radius, say, 9. Boom. And then the handy command for getting out of there is slash slash unstuck. And as you can see, that generates a solid sphere. But what if I want to to generate a hollow sphere? That's quite simple. You simply add H be, uh, before sphere, so that would be H sphere stone eight. That will make a hollow sphere. Woohoo! And H is very handy. So as you can can see here on the outside, it's just a good old a good old sphere, and on the inside, it's hollow. You can also make it so this doesn't uh, delete the blocks around it by adding the flag minus A inside. Now, are, are, are spheres the only thing that I can make? No, you can also make cylinders with the command slash slash CYL stone and then your uh, radius say 8 and then your height say 5. And this will uh, generate a solid uh, cylinder of an 8 radius and a 5 height with the uh, middle of the bottom uh, layer being uh, the, under your feet. But that's not very handy for towers. Nope. But that's not very handy for, for towers, uh, is it? Because uh, with towers, uh, you actually need to be able to go through the middle. So with that, same as with spheres, H cylinder, or H C Y L stone, radius 8, height 50. Oh, oops. Did not mean that, but now I have a super tall ass cylinder. It was 540 blocks tall. So, undo, and voila, all is well once again. And as you, uh, if you can see these towers on the sides, uh, this was made with uh, word guard uh, commands, but this was uh, made with a combination of uh, expand and set and not with an H cylinder, because uh, personally, I find that the, 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 the cylinders, some of the cylinders, unattractive. And also, just a quick uh, tip uh, for uh, spheres. Uh, this slipped my, um, my mind, but you can uh, re remove those. Okay, so as you can uh, s see here on the tips here, typically there would be blocks to make this come to a perfect point. But the uh, default uh, word guard uh, algorithm uh, removes them so it can have a nice smooth sphere. You can add those back by adding the uh, modifier true after your command. So it Apparently not with that radius, but let's try uh, odd radius nine. Voila. Okay, so with this, uh, you can see that it added said nubs on the ends. Anyways, just a few more handy commands. Excuse me. Uh, 
my associate here seems to be misbehaving himself. <laughs> now that that problem solved. Anyways, now say that all of this sandstone was dirt. Dirt, dirt, the magical f uh, material. The more you eat, the more you toot, the more you toot, the better you feel. So let's have dirt for every meal. Yeah, dirt. Dirt. All right, so say that I, I, I wanted to have a nice big forest over all of this. There's a handy dandy command for that called forest gen. And to do that, you have a single slash and then type forest gen. Then after that, you type the radius, as you can see here. Sean thinks that just putting down saplings is good enough, but it's not. Because that's the easy way. This is uh, world edit. So, forest gen. Radius, uh, I'd say 30. Then the type of tree, I'm just going to go with basic tree for this uh, demonstration, and then a, t a typical uh, density of one. As you can see here, there's now magical trees poofed around. This is about the size of, this is about the density of a hill's biome. Now let's say I, I wanted to make that density less 0.5. As you can, can see here, it's a bit more spaced out. Let's try 0.1. That's just absolutely atrocious. Now let's try something else. Let's go with 3. So you can, uh, can, can see here the forest is much denser. And let's try to mix it up with replacing tree with big tree. Uh, not big tree, big tree. All right. Now there's a whole ton of tall oaks and a whole ton of lags. Woohoo. Panic save all for the win, but this will just generate a whole ton of tall trees. This is great if you want to make an oak forest for a build. But let's say that I don't want an oak. What if I want a spruce forest? Well, you, yeah, you simply take change big tree to spruce. I'm going to lower my density there. Oop. Yes, they would be called redwood. Yeah, and as you can see, trees. And then the other uh, tree type, birch, is done with, I believe, birch. And yes, birch works just fine. And as you can see here, there's pr there's putty tweez. Now there's uh, another handy dandy generation command called pumpkin patch, or in this case pumpkins, and then the radius. I'll just go with 25. 25. Apparently can't type. Okay. Yes, pumpkin patch. It generates a bunch of pumpkins with logs and leaves. This is quite fun, but quite pointless otherwise. You can if you want to, it's fine. Okay. Anyways, going back, I'm just going to dig myself a hole in the ground here and pretend that a creeper made it. Oops! There's a huge ass hole right, uh, right here. How would I fix that? Handy dandy command known as fill. So you, you would type slash slash fill dirt, which would be the uh, material and the, uh, and the radius. In this case, it would be about 10. And as you uh, can see here, that just filled all of the space on uh, the, the level of my feet with dirt. Woohoo! Now, if you do that uh, above ground, it will sort of act like a one uh, deep cylinder generator. Voila.
and now mo uh, moving onwards. Uh, and, oh, sorry, forgot one thing. What if I have a 2D pole chair? What do I do, uh, do then? Then you simply make this uh, contraption that I'm making here, and then do slash slash fill the uh, material. So let's go with grass. Why not? Then a, a radius of eight, and then two uh, two deep, and that will fill both layers. And as you could see, what uh, I was doing there was just putting an absolutely big ass number for uh, the radius. This is handy if you're a lazy person like me, but moving onwards, say we made a big mess with some water buckets. Holy crap, there's water everywhere. How do I fix this? Well, there's also a world guard command for that, known as drain. So if I typed drain 30, that would remove all of the water blocks within my general area. This also works with lava, as Sean was uh, mentioning. Say I had a whole ton of lava spillage, or if I, co I come upon some lava in a cave, I simply jump in, type slash drain. It will do the same. You're just trying to surf some lava. Now, say that I had a hollow cylinder. The command for that again is, is H C Y L stone 10, radius 10. Then I have a bunch of water in here, but I don't feel like uh, going around making it all even. The way I would fix that is by typing slash slash fix water 30. It will make all of the water in the a 30 block uh, radius at smooth and at the same level. This also works for lava, as one might see right here. And so as you stand in it, it shall work. <laughs> and now some more handy dandy commands to say I want all of this to be snow I would type slash snow and then the radius oh. and voila instant snow kind of made that radius less than I wanted it to be there we go instant snow say that I wanted uh, to make a small patch here on the corner. I could type thaw, then five. That would just take a quick notch out of it, like such. Now, say I had fires everywhere. Yeah, fire. Yeah. Command X, E, X, slash E, X. 30. Boom. No more fire. Now, say that I, I had some let, let TNT here. Let me find the TNT in the creative menu. It's like that one block that I, I never use, so I'm having difficulties. In this case, I could use Butcher. Uh, actually, it would be slash uh, remove, slash remove TNT 30. I'm just going to put that into my clipboard and quickly light a TNT. And blah, 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 it are gone. This only works if they are uh, lit and not uh, if they are, are alone. Uh, there is a handy command known as slash re uh, remove near, which... Uh, 
removes blocks within a certain radius, say that someone spammed a whole bunch of TNT around, and you didn't feel like selecting the entire uh, region, you could just fly in, uh, in, into the middle and sla type slash remove near uh, TNT 30. That will uh, remove all TNT blocks in a 30 block uh, r radius. Let's say that I spawned some skeletons and some spiders. And that would be light glitches. Holy crap, so many mobs. Easy fix. Butcher. This works with either slash slash or a single slash. But it kills mobs. You can also add a radius to it, but I just pre uh, prefer to kill all hostile mo uh, mobs globally. Uh, there are some flags for that. Uh, let me be, uh, be right back while I find those. And we are back. So, so that I had also spawned some cows with this. Some cows and some spiders. But I want rid of both of them. I could simply type slash butcher, then add negative A, and then A radius, and that killed both uh, peaceful mo uh, animal mobs and uh, spiders. Let's say I spawn some, some spiders, some cows, some skeletons, and I'm just laughing that Sean can't turn on game mode. But I would also add in some NPCs trying to f ah, there we go. Added some N uh, NPCs. I could butcher either the animals or the NPCs, animals with negative A, NPCs with negative N. Or I could do both, which is negative N, negative A, negative F. And, the, and what the negative F does is it com compounds the previous fix. Now let's say I had a bunch of these, bunch of those, bunch of those, some of that, some more of that. And where's the iron golems? I guess I'll just make my own iron golem. And voila, insta iron golem. So I type butcher, negative N for NPCs, negative A for uh, uh, peaceful uh, animals, negative P for pets, negative G for golems, and negative L to have lightning sh strike them upon death, and then negative F to c compound all of those, and then 50 for the radius. And voila, insta death! Oop. Apparently, that's not real fire. Okay. And then say that I had spawned a whole bucket load of entities, say... Oop, can't apparently do that. Just dump a whole bunch of... A cake can be just put in as simple cake. So as you can see here, I'm just dumping iron blocks, and I can uh, remove them by typing slash remove items, and the radius. And I am back. Anyways, before he was sucking those items up, you can type slash remove items 20, and that will uh, remove items in a 20 block uh, radius. I also say I, I spawned a whole bunch of boats. 
Now, these are a real pain to clean up without uh, world edit. So what you do is you use the same remove command. Wait, these are items? These are entities. Oh. And the, the boats just got uh, uh, removed. Uh, remove and butcher are part of the same command set. They just have uh, different command strings. Ah. Yes. Anyways, that was basically it, it for all of uh, episode, I believe it's five. And I will see you next time with some handy dandy world edit tools.